So now uh, we, are, we are, will turn without break to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, if you will kindly give your keynote and valedictory address, since His Holiness has to go. Uh, he will, we will combine his comment in the context of this panel with his keynote in one swoop. And then uh, he will have to leave. I just want to apologize ahead of time. And then I will leave also with him. And my colleague, it's kind of a good omen, my dear friend and colleague, Dr. Daniel Goldman, who was my co-moderator in the previous peacemaking we did many two years ago, he will, he will come out and he will moderate um, Dr. Ibadi's keynote and Jody's keynote. I think, although Keith, Jody, I think it's beyond moderation. <laughs> She's the best. You don't need it. You moderate yourself, I just mean, but I'm Thank just kidding. You, but Dan will fill in for me. That's a compliment. That's a compliment. Dan will fill in for me. And so, um, so I apologize for having to leave the scene at that time. And His Holiness now kindly will, will it is Your Holiness, turn to, to, uh, Give us your injunction and your instruction and your farewell. Thank you. Now, so two days, yesterday and today, uh, I really impressed uh, those speakers. I think they uh, speak sincerely and more important, on their own experiences. That is realistic, something, reality, not just vision, empty vision. So, wonderful. I very much appreciate uh, Then also, Judy Triyanchik, but she was strong, yeah, There was a beautiful, um, we also saw a, a part of Jodi, particularly with relation to performance, that was beautiful mm -hmm. too. I a little worry. You see, this is not very clean, so your, <laughs> your food <laughs> may become a little bit item dirty. <laughs> of course, sometimes uh, uh, when I sort of uh, some place, you see, you have to remove your shoe. shoes. Uh, then sometimes uh, I have more concern about new scars. Mm -hmm. Scars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Socks. Oh, socks. Socks. <laughs> more concern. <laughs> socks rather than my own feet. <laughs> <laughs> so then I also do that way. <laughs> So then you, uh, I think, seems to follow Judy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think you spoke, I think, with very, very strong feeling. Uh, uh, now I think the particular field, I think other sort of speakers, Already touched uh, I think much more experienced uh, than me. So I have not much sort of say, saying, uh, not much to say. Uh, overall, in spite of many problems, uh, I think not only America, but also in Asia, Africa, Europe, uh, in South America, still a lot of sort of injustice, right? mm -hmm. injustice, and mainly I think due to neglect these poorer section of the people, and some worst cases exploiting. But uh, with this sort of reality, uh, there's no reason to feel demoralize or pessimistic. pessimistic. Look, 20th century. Uh, I think later part of 20th century, I think much, much hopeful than uh, 
Pre uh, early part of 20th century. I think a few examples. I think in the early part of 20th century, even I think up to mid uh, century, I think the people believe ultimate sort of, uh, ultimately war unavoidable. I think that concept changed. The sort of concept of coexistence happened. Then, uh, anyway, you see the uh, common interest is more important than simply different ideology or different system. Anyway, good. Uh, and then, uh, ecology, you some as I mentioned, the early part of the 20th century, nobody take concern about ecology. Now, later part of the century, uh, I think the concern about ecology is, I think, now become universal. Widespread. Widespread. Uh, and also even some political party based on that idea, Green Party, like that. Uh, then also, uh, I think people more and more talks about peace, about compassion. I think these are a positive sign. I quite often used to share with the audience, uh, in 1996, I had was the opportunity having audience with the late Queen Mother of England. At that, uh, that year, her own age, 96. So I asked her, since she observed whole century, almost whole century, uh, I asked whether the uh, world would become better or same or worse. Without hesitation, she mentioned better. Reason, uh, when she was young, there's no one talking about human right and also the right of self-determination. Nowadays, these things are universal. She mentioned that. Uh, then, science and spirituality. Uh, in early part, these two things are simply two separate, no connection. The later part of the 20th century, science and spirituality, uh, spirituality uh, means here some kind of sort of the moral principles or sort of moral ethics, moral values, uh, now come closer. And my own personal experience last now almost 30 years, I had serious sort of discussion with modern scientists. Uh, and I noticed, you see, more and more genuine scientists, top scientists, really now showing their concern about our m mental health, uh, healthy mind. Uh, because they realize the mental state is very, very important for our own health and also well-being in the family, well-being in the community. So these are very, very positive development. Now we are in the 21st century, simply the continuation of the 20th century, the later part of the 20th century. So basically, uh, I think there is sound basis of hope. Uh, and uh, on that basis, we must keep our enthusiasm, our optimism. Then with that optimism, uh, prayer, and hoping something come from above. <laughs> uh, that also, of course, very nice. <laughs> uh, for individual practitioner, prayer 
is very useful. But for the society, uh, the power of prayer is very limited. So the change of the society, change of the world, you see, come only through action. Action is very, very important. Uh, so, so now, the, uh, as one was mentioned, now world, due to economy and also technology, and also, I think, tourism and ecology, world now becoming just one body or one entity. I often see telling people, now century-old strong concept, we and they, and between we and they, thick demarcation. And then with the feeling, uh, my interest, our interest, their interest, something different, uh, independent. So therefore, uh, on that basis, on concept of that basis, uh, basis on that concept, a war, mobilize, uh, sometimes I think legalized violence. That means war. So that you see develop. Now today, that reality no longer there. American future depend on other part of the world. Asia, their future much depend on Western technology. Western industrialized nations future much depend on oil or some other raw materials from other part of the world. So that's the reality. So destruction of the other one is actually destruction of yourself. So now we must, time come, we must develop sense of big we. Entire world is we, part of me. Uh, so, so then, since that's the reality, so each of us, nearly seven billion human beings, each person is part of that humanity. So, there is very close link. For example, I come from Tibet. In the past, uh, Tibet isolated. Uh, so no connection with the other rest of the world. Now that situation completely changed. So therefore, my own future depend on the humanity. Humanity, happy. I, li my life will be happy. Humanity, a lot of sort of say, trouble or sort of say, suffering. I will suffer. So, the long term, the, uh, say, the best way to protect one's individual's future, we must look humanity. Humanity happy, world happy. I get maximum benefit. So therefore, from the selfish viewpoint, I often used to telling, I think you may have heard uh, several times, I usually used to telling, we are selfish, uh, sort of I'm a selfish creature. It's right. Uh, take care of oneself, cherishing oneself. That is the seed of compassion. Cherishing oneself, love oneself, then you can extend to other. If self-hatred there, impossible to develop compassion to other. So that's the seed. Uh, so, so now, the point is, selfish sort of view, with short-sightedness, narrow-minded, ignorance, too much emotion, biased view, then, uh, just as you think, uh, oneself and sort of s s your small sort of surrounding. So the reality, your own future depends on entire sort of the world. So therefore, now the, that selfish should, uh, should combine with fuller knowledge, holistic about the reality. 
So that I usually describe why selfish. <laughs> oh, selfish, but for your own interest, the best source is taking care about other. Then you get a benefit. Oh, <laughs> selfish. Mm, think oneself. Uh, now, for example, on this uh, platform, if I remain here, little sort of uh, suspicious way, or or you see little anxiety, I should be top most, <laughs> and including sort of kasachuti, prevents kasachuti, pretend, pretension. Oh, then actually uh, it develop more anxiety, more uncomfortable, more sort of worry. Uh, if I look these people as a human brother, sisters, just like myself, uh, emotionally we are same, mentally also we are same, physically uh, a little difference of color or little difference of the shape of the head. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I think we are we are same group. <laughs> so little, little sort of on the surface, little little differences there. But basically, we are same, hundred percent same. I want happy life. I do not want. I want you see, less disturbances. You also, everybody same. Hmm? Like until the Nobel laureate, like Judy and Kaza. Uh, and street people, same right to achieve happy life. We all member of same humanity. We all citizen of this small planet. So therefore, the, the too much sort of self-centered thinking is actually foolish. So that kind of selfish is foolish selfish. So it is now, suppose in modern time, we, everybody is concerned. Education is very important, very true. Education, the, this morning I mentioned the very purpose of education is to see the reality, to reduce gap appearances and reality. Uh, that uh, also not just a mere sort of knowledge, but to bring realistic sort of uh, approach or action. So therefore, the, uh, we must sort of look things more in sort a of realistic way than the sense of caring of others' well-being. It's the key factor to build inner peace, to build happy family, through that way, happy community. And many sort of difficulties we are facing. Firstly, uh, too much self-centered attitude. And then secondly, too much concentrate on material value. Neglect about our inner value. Mm. So, uh, fortunately now, fortunately or I don't know, on this sort of platform, uh, some people, you see, use the word of God, these things, it's good. Uh, but there are people who, don't know about, who do not much concern about religion, uh, that also they are right. Uh, according to Indian tradition, we must respect a non-believer. It is their own right. Uh, uh, so, so many non-believers sort of, sort of have the view, they concept of compassion, forgiveness, these are, they consider that's a religious matter. Many years ago, I think 30 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, when still East German, West German there, one occasion, I think I was in Bonn or Munich, uh, one sort of meeting, with public meeting, many people. Then West German government home minister with me, and I sort of just casual talk. And he uh, told me moral, any moral ethics must be based on religious faith. Uh, so I believe there must be moral ethics uh, 
without Dutch religion. That must be according to Indian tradition. That is. So therefore, uh, this is the problem. Individual, whether have interest about religion or not, that's up to individual sort of right. But the interest about compassion and with compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, these, uh, of course, very rich tradition, emphasis importance of this, but itself not based on religious sort of faith. So therefore, which there is no point to neglect about these values. These are uh, uh, human values and our success life, happy life, entirely depend on these values. So therefore, uh, uh, two things, you see, too much stress about material value and whole education system, whole way of life is more re materialistic sort of uh, way of life. That I think uh, now we have to think seriously whether that I think many sort of kasota, no kasota, many drawbacks in the society ultimately related with extreme self-centered attitude. And also, that also just think the money, money value or material value uh, without knowing or feeling importance of inner values. This is one thing. I think important. Then another thing, I just want to uh, sort of mention the forgiveness, tolerance does not mean you bow down. Bow down. Ah, you bow down. Bow down. Or let Give the up. other, whatever they like, they can let them do. Not that meaning. Here we must, you see, uh, distinguish action and actor. Uh, Actors' sight, actors' concern, still mostly, most cases, human, human being. So still part of the humanity uh, and human brothers, sisters. But action is concerned. Uh, some sort of uh, destructive action come, we must oppose. So forgiveness towards the actors sort of wrongdoing, I mean actors, a person, you see, we still keep our attitude as a human brother, as a one with a member of the humanity. Uh, so, the, his sort of some wrongdoing, forgiveness on that level, that does not mean uh, we allow whatever he does with the wrongdoing. Yeah. Wrongdoing is concerned, we must oppose. We must stop, try to stop that. Not out of anger, but out of sense of concern of their wrongdoings of the future. If let wrongdoing continuously, eventually he or she have to face the consequences. So in order to protect from that, we have to oppose their wrongdoing uh, without negative feeling towards this person. So here, and then also, I think the God believer, I think we can sort of make distinction. The actor side, God's creation. Actor's wrong action is not God's creation. <laughs> I, I think God gives kasa free will. So that creature uh, utilized free will wrong way. So that we have the right to oppose. Mm. Uh, without losing respect of the actor, actor, the creature. Uh, so that I think important, make distinction, uh, forgiveness toward the person, not accept their wrongdoing. We must oppose or counter, countermeasure. That one thing I want to share. Then another thing, when I, I now the how many uh, young people whose age below 20? Raise hand. Well, very few. Under 20, would you raise your hand? No, no. Not many. Okay. 
Do it. Oh, okay. Hmm? Oh, below 30. No. Oh, oh, okay. So, my age now uh, over 75, now nearly 76. So, I belong. I think those people who are above 40, 50, I think we belong to 20th century. That 20th century gone. Uh, uh, now you below 30, and particularly below 20, uh, and this uh, 11. Uh, so you're 11. Uh, so almost, I think you completely belong to this 21st century. <laughs> So, my century, 20th century, are already gone. So, people who belong to that century now ready to say bye bye. <laughs> oh. So, I think the sh on our shoulder responsibility, I think my generation, I think. Uh, of course, there are good people who really fulfill their real sort of responsibility on their shoulder. But at the same time, many people, uh, I think their responsibility utilize more wrong way. As a result, the other mess at Chumbuta. So as a result, we see the mess that we are in today. Mm -hmm. And also, the 20th century itself, according to some historian, more than 200 million people killed through violence, including civil war. I think the greatest number of, sort of killing human beings only in that century. So if that immense sort of violence, including using nuclear weapon, is solve major problem of this, this planet, and bring really better sort of planet, then there is there may be some justification, but that also not happen. Therefore, now 20th century when we look 20th century century of bloodshed, uh, immense suffering, uh, no positive sort of concrete result. Therefore, now we must learn uh, using force is wrong method. Uh, the according new reality, destruction of your neighbor is destruction of yourself. So therefore, now the concept of war is outdated. So that does not mean this century no longer sort of con because of the source of conflict or potential of conflict. That's always there. So uh, war is outdated. Violence is unrealistic sort of because of the method. Still problem there, then what to do? This morning I mentioned that now we need the spirit of dialogue, uh, in the spirit of reconciliation. That's the only realistic method. So we must, while we say peace, 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 we must promote the concept of dialogue. I think from school we must develop you see, that concept, whenever we see some sort of potential of conflict, uh, uh, how to solve this through dialogue. That's very important. So the, uh, the younger generation who belongs this century, now, almost now, 90 years, uh, 89 years, 90 years, left. Uh, 90 years you see, uh, yet, to, yet come. to come. So. This generation, the, the generation who belongs to the first century, you have immense sort of responsibility to create better world, compassionate world. Uh, so you have the responsibility. Now for that reason, firstly, you should need vision, clear vision. One, one vision is this world ultimately should be demilitarized world. Then secondly, <laughs> Secondly, I think we have to sort of remind Marxist economy theory. 
equal distribution rather than making uh, profit, mm? only profit. So that, uh, of course, with full freedom. <laughs> I, I myself, you see, when I introduce myself, you see, okay, sometimes I introduce I'm Marxist, as far as uh, social theory, uh, social economy theory is concerned, I'm Marxist. Oh, in Italy, uh, many of my comrades, Marxist, at the same time, uh, they fully enjoy freedom, individual freedom, democracy. So, uh, but I, tr and we totally against Leninism, too much sort of tight, too much sort of suppression. That's what we're totally against. So in any way, I think economy system, I think you should pay more attention about more equality. Uh, that means reduce this gap, rich and poor. Uh, so this also, now someone, someone mentioned very rightly, in order to reduce this gap, just give money, not the answer. Give them proper education and proper training, then equipment. The most important, give them courage, give them self-confidence. That's very important. Uh, some of you mentioned, due to economically poor, and the family background poor, sometimes little because of the uh, lack, of uh, lack of confidence. One time in South Africa, uh, the Sueto town, township, uh, township. I went there, uh, uh, and I really was keen to visit one individual family house. Uh, finally, we arranged uh, the visit. Uh, there are a few, uh, uh, few people there, one mother and a few children, and then later, one their relative joined while we are taking tea, Indian tea, Indian tea, Indian music <laughs> in, in that family. Uh, uh, then I told, I expressed, now you already achieved democracy in constitution. But emotionally, it may take uh, time. It fully sort of utilized democracy uh, to adjust. Uh, to adjust. Uh, and here, the you, black people, need self-confidence. And then, one relative, that family, who joined later, uh, he told me he's school teacher. But then he feel, and black people's brain, biologically, a little inferior. When I heard that, I really feel very sad. Then I try my best to convince him, no, the brain level, human level, we exactly the same. Uh, and I made some sort of example, Tibetan case. Sometimes uh, some narrow-minded Han Chinese, you see, they consider different minorities brain is little because of that because inferior. inferior. So I mentioned, you see, but we are same. Whenever we have the opportunity, we also, you see, because of that camp, camp top. So you also say, a lot of argument. Then, finally, he, I said, he, with long sigh, where orange, long sigh, and to the low voice, now I convince we have same sort of brain, same potential. That moment, I release, I relieve that. Family, I, sense of relief. Sense of relief immensely. At least one person's sort of mental attitude uh, changed uh, and bring self-confidence. So that's very important. In India also, I often use it telling those sort of low caste people, they feel uh, God created or some, something. They, 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 
they themselves are little sort of inferior. inferior. Uh, so that transform frustration and hatred, mm -hmm. anger. So I always be telling these people, we are the same. Uh, now you must, instead of keep sort of anger, frustration, you must make, so you work hard, education, training, like that, with self-confidence. A few occasions I was in uh, African continent, I think few, few, few countries, uh, also I, I express uh, you need to put a section of the people need self-confidence and work hard. And the richer sort of community, a richer side, provide them facility of education, and health, and equipment and training. Not look by something as of the look, look down. No. Respect. Consider equal. They got less opportunity. We got better opportunity. But basically, we are same human beings, same human resources. Through that way, we can develop trust. Uh, trust bring friendship. Friendship bring harmony, common effort. That's very important. So therefore, I think even teachers and students also, I think teachers side, uh, if teacher feel, oh, I am a little sort of higher or superior, then look down. Wrong. Totally wrong. This one, I think the seventh century, one Buddhist literature mentioned, Lama Seadi, Lukwa Shadiaris, Lama Lobin to Rekwa Shadiar. Didn't you understand it? They never do Kushib Chen Lamuris. A seventh century, uh, Buddhist, no, second, second century second century Buddhist text states that, um, uh, that the very word student already indicates the nature of that particular state where uh, a young person is uh, relying upon someone with greater knowledge and therefore it places a responsibility on the part of the teacher to, uh, with a sense of care to, to transfer, share that knowledge. And respect. respect. Special sorrow or say sense of concern bringing up uh, uh, sort of, uh, bringing up sort of equal status, equal status, right? Yeah. Like that. So therefore, I think here the, the main thing is the younger generation who uh, are coming. Students, yeah. right? Who are students. Uh, uh, they belong to, to this century. You have the vision. Uh, then uh, and also some people already touched, the global issue is more important than national issue. You must realize that. Uh, like Copenhagen summit failed to bring concrete result is the some important nation. They consider national interest is more important than global interest. So many unnecessary problems we are facing here uh, or today is we emphasis on secondary level, like racial, like sort of the different class, and then your position and religious faith, or different nationality. So too much emphasis on this uh, this level, forgetting fundamentals sort of our common thing. So that's the source of unnecessary problem, including war, including violence. So therefore, we must promote the sense of global responsibility. This is very important. Now that's one thing. Then uh, the younger generation, when you study, uh, your own investigation is very crucial. Your knowledge N not just simply copy what teachers say, what books st state, say. These are basis of analyze. Uh, after you, you get this, some ideas, some knowledge, 
then further investigation by yourself. The Buddhist psychology, psychology mental education, should have assumed that. In, in Buddhist theory of education, we speak of uh, three dimensions or aspects of intelligence. Number one, intelligence or knowledge from hearing. That's from teacher or from books. The second level of awareness is through your own investigation or sometimes experiment. Through that way, your understanding about the subject. That is not only just hearing on the base, not only based on hearing, but your own investigation. That awareness, understanding. that understanding much sort of related with conviction. Then that sort of awareness with full conviction, now that become I mean because of happy to it. Familiarize. Familiarize, then eventually that will become part of your mind, part of your life. So that's important. So the young people, when you get education, you utilize your own sort of, sort of intellectual sort of potential. That's very, very important. Critical thinking. Oh, uh, Critical thinking. Critical yeah. thinking. Hmm? So that's very, very important. I want, I want to share you. Well, that's all. Now, now my, half, half my mind already in the plane. Lutensa. <laughs> Go to India. <laughs> so, thank you. thank you. So, thank you very much. Thank all the organizers, thank you. Thank you.